Hello Internet, this is Jeff Dodgen on week three. This is my third video, and the topic today is a short one. What kind of guitar should I get? Uh, and so just really quickly, because I don't purport to be any sort of professional in uh, suggesting guitars to people, but just very simply, I want to learn how to play the guitar, or my son or my daughter want to learn how to play the guitar. I want to get them one for their birthday or for Christmas. Do I get a classical guitar? Do I get electrical? Do I get acoustic? And I think most of the time, the decision or the driving decision maker in this question is, well, if you get an electric, you can play it clean or you can play it distorted. And so you can do rock or you can do clean stuff. So the electric is versatile in that way. If you do an acoustic, it's really just acoustic. Now you could get an electric acoustic that you could plug into things and distort if you wanted to, but please don't do that. It sounds kind of weird. Uh, and of course, classical is, um, you know, well, classical music isn't really well thought of, I guess, at least not in today's day and age. Uh, your kid probably wants to play Sweet Child of Mine um, or Sweet Home Alabama. They probably don't want to play, um, you know, one of Beethoven's classic symphonies. So you probably wouldn't go the classical guitar route. But I'm going to tell you some obvious, basic things about uh, three guitars that I've got next to me here that'll kind of help you make your decision. And again, it really just comes down to how it's going to feel. Um, in the hand. And so first and foremost, the first, I guess I, I won't say the first guitar I ever had, um, but the first guitar that I have a fond memory learning on was a classical guitar. I do not have that classical guitar here. It's at my parents, but I have one. I have two classical guitars that both belong to my great grandfather. Um, and so the main thing, uh, now this classical guitar has got a smaller body. I'm sh Again, I'm sure there's a musical name for the smaller bodied classical guitar. I don't know it. Um, so again, not a professional, but the number one thing that you notice that I notice about classical guitars, um, two things. First of all, it's nylon string. So it kind of has a different noise to it. I don't know if that sounded any good through the microphone, um, but the strings are made out of a different material. So they're going to have a different sound and it's not going to sound quite as right. If your kid's wanting to get an acoustic guitar and play Sweet Home Alabama, it's going to sound weird a little bit on a classical guitar. But this is what I learned on when I was learning, um, you know, Back in Black by ACDC. Super weird. Uh, but the second thing is that the fretboard, and maybe this video doesn't show it very well, but the fretboard's wide. Um, it's fat and it's wide. And the way you're supposed to play guitar, which this is again for another video, but really the 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 bad habit is to kind of grip it with your thumb around the fretboard, um, but the way you're supposed to play it is having your thumb in the middle of the back of that fretboard, and that kind of gives you the ability to to do all the movements you need to do, frees up your fingers to do uh, all the other stuff. Um, I think classic classical guitars are cool. I think they have a cool sound. I've used them. Uh, if you look in my cover of The Scientist by Coldplay here on YouTube, uh, I use it in that cover just because I thought it was kind of gave off a neat vibe. So I think um, you should have, you know, if you really get into guitar, you should get a classical guitar because I think they're neat. I, th I think they have a unique, different sound. Um, but keep in mind, if you're a newbie, uh, you're just starting out with guitar. The fretboard's super wide. It's kind of hard to stretch your hands out that first time to reach all those notes. And also, it's just probably going to have a different sound than what you're expecting. The second guitar, of course, is one that I play the most. Um, is this the straight up regular acoustic guitar? Uh, and so this is mine here. Uh, at least this is an electric acoustic, which is why you see it the most time, uh, because I can plug it into an amp or into my computer directly and, and record things that way. This one's going to have steel guitar strings. This is going to sound much more like what you're expecting. And the fretboard, while still being a little bit wide, um, is still going to be smaller than that classical one, and it'll be a little bit easier to to make those chords and things like that. Um, in my opinion, and I'll say this now, I think acoustic guitar is the way to go if you really want to learn. I think it's a very, uh, it's, it's the guitar in its probably most raw form. Learning to play chords and different notes and really hearing how they sound, you know, holding, holding a guitar up against you and hearing the reverberation of what you're playing and feeling it. Um, I think that's a much better way to learn. When I started, I had, again, I had the classical guitar, I had acoustic guitar, and I thought it was super lame. I want to play the electric guitar, I want to shred on some solos, and I want just people in the crowd to fall in love with me and think I'm the greatest guy ever. And now that I've gotten older and realize that I can't shred because I didn't learn my scales, um, I still really love the acoustic guitar. 
That's why I love covering songs and singing songs with the acoustic guitar, be that, um, again, thanks to my parents and the love of music they've passed on down to me, be that a classic rock song that doesn't you wouldn't think belongs on an acoustic guitar or a rap song, um, that again, that doesn't have guitar in it at all. I feel like this is uh, acoustic guitar is so beautiful sounding, and it's a great way to strip a song down to almost nothing but your voice and an instrument, and I think it's really neat. Um, so again, slightly smaller fretboard, a little bit easier to play, but still not the easiest by far. Um, but at the same time, um, with the classical as well, you can really feel the music up against you, and I think that's a game changer when you're learning stuff. Third guitar. Of course, the third guitar uh, is the electric guitar that I have here. Um, this is what everyone goes for, quite literally, actually. This is a black and white Fender Strat Squire. Um, this is what most people tend to go with. The electric guitar, again, super popular because that's probably, if I think for most people, is why they want to play the guitar is because of Van Halen um, and because of classic rock and Metallica and you know hard rock, metal, those sorts of things. You want to get an electric guitar. You want to plug it into an amp, uh, specifically maybe a Line 6 amp that has all these different options on there for distortion and uh, you know different pedalless effects. And so you want to get the electric guitar so that you can just uh, you know jam out on some power chords um, and, you know, just kind of chug along to, um, to some, some metal. Generally, on most electric guitars, you're going to find, especially on the, the strats, a very skinny neck. Um, you're going to have all kinds of space to play all kinds of notes. And, and, and again, I, I would say to me on an acoustic guitar, the strings are a bit more spread out. And so I was able to better find my place on an acoustic guitar because I've got more room to move around. On the electric guitar with a skinnier fret uh, or with a skinnier neck, you the strings are the notes are closer together, and so you kind of have to be a little bit more pinpoint accurate with hitting those notes. Which again, for me, um, wasn't a good way to learn, but for other people, again, that's going to teach you um, again to be uh, right on point with every note that you hit. Just like I said, uh, that's probably going to be a short video this week. Um, then again, I did ramble for quite a bit, so maybe this is the longest one thus far. Who knows? I'll have to edit it later. Either way, I hope you enjoyed uh, learning just the few basic things that I know about guitars and uh, really more than anything, just my opinion, which is all that was. Again, that was the end of this week three video. I've got a song for you right after, so stick around. Uh, and thank you so much for watching. to myself I didn't want you around The pretty faces always made you stand out in a crowd and Someone picked you from the bunch One glance is all it took Now it's much too late for me to take a second look Oh baby give me one more chance Won't you please let me back your heart Without you, it's one long sleepless night. Let me show you, baby, that I had no wrong from right. In every street you walk on, I need tear stains on the ground. If I go with the girl, I didn't even want to round. Oh, baby, give me one more chance. Won't you please let me back in your heart? Oh, darling. Was blind to let you go. Now that I see you, it is on. I want to back. Yes, I do now. I want to back. Ooh, baby. I want to back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to back. Now, not now, now. I want to back. A boop, 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 boom. A boop, 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 boom. Yeah. Boop, 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 boom. boom. A boop, 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 boom, boom. Yeah. Boop, 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 boom. boom. Yeah. Oh, baby, give me one more chance.
Da 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 da